Chinese companies that sell products to people overseas like here in the U.S. are doing better than those of companies with the bulk of their operations in China. Markets reporter Sheila Dharmarajan has been looking into that, Sheila. Well, that's right, Mike. And the bottom line is it might actually pay off to bet on the U.S. in the near term versus China. When you look at an index of companies, let's take U.S. companies, that's, or companies that sell most of their sales to the U.S. Relative to companies that actually have most of their sales in China, what you actually find out is that the U.S. focused companies are outperforming this year, up almost 5%, so beating a lot of those Chinese focused companies. And HSBC, they think that this trend will continue in the short term as the U.S. economy economy continues to recover. Well, it seems sort of counterintuitive given that China's growth prospects are so much better than ours, at least that's what we read. Right, and that's exactly the point, because what HSBC is seeing is a lot of those growth prospects, they're already marketed into Chinese stocks, they're already valued into there, versus the U.S. hit hardest by the recession, so potential for the biggest bounce back coming up. In fact, HSBC is overweight U.S. for a couple of reasons. First, they talk about that the fact that the U.S. has a lot more potential for growth upside versus China. China, you know, the big fear is, of course, they're going to start tightening even more. Second is about inflation. In the U.S., the output gap is helping to keep that inflation number in check versus China, a lot of fear about the overheating economy. And lastly, I want to talk about the shift in Chinese spending. Infrastructure stimulus spending has been a big part of that growth story. HSBC actually points out they think that's going to slow down. They think more of the fiscal stimulus spending will actually be geared more towards education, health care, et cetera. So another reason to keep an eye on the U.S., actually, in the short term. All right, Sheila, thank you very much.